Pivot tables are a very powerful way you can summarize and look at your data in a different way in a spreadsheet. So I have data here on projects, the project manager, and the project completion. If I want to look at this summarized by project manager, so how are the project managers doing based on when their projects are due? I can do that with a pivot table and see something like this. Instead of individual values for projects, now I see the average for project managers and the date of when their projects are due. And I can create this with a few clicks in a pivot table. When you first create a pivot table, you see something like this, where you populate your rows, your columns, and your values. And you do that by just clicking on the add buttons over here. But the question is, what do those things mean? And what does it look like when I put something in each of those values? When you use something in the rows area, you're going to see the words from your original data. So in the case of project manager, I'll actually see that person's name. Whereas values is going to be an aggregated count or sum or average. So if I did the aggregated average project completion for any project manager, I'll see that percent averaged out. Or if I count how many times that project manager has a project, it would be a count, not that name. The columns area is also going to show me the words from my data. So in our example from before, in the columns area, we used the date, really the year only from the original data. And it shows us that year rather than a count of how many for the year because it's in the columns. So that's a quick breakdown of the rows, columns, values, and the anatomy of a pivot table in Google Sheets.